If your M4 iPad Pro display is looking kind of grainy, you are not alone. Mine does too. And I've been reading that this is an issue with a lot of these M4 iPad Pros from 2024, including this 11 inch model and the 13 inch models. To see if you have this issue, dim your brightness to about 25% and then go into your settings app and then look at the gray areas of your screen and you should be able to see this almost grainy kind of pattern when you look really closely. I would also advise doing this in a dimly lit room so you can really see the effect easier. For me, I had to look like almost microscopically. I'm talking about taking my glasses off. So what is the graininess on this tandem OLED screen and should you care? Is it a deal breaker for me? According to Mac rumors, OLED displays in general can exhibit a visual grain or a screen door effect due to several factors related to the design and manufacturing process. The individual subpixels in OLED displays can vary in size and shape, contributing to an inconsistent, uneven texture or graininess. This is an effect that can happen on any device with an OLED display. And you'll actually notice it if you look really closely even on your iPhone display, but because the pixel density is a lot higher on the iPhone, you won't notice it as much, so it looks a lot smoother overall. But because the iPad Pro is a much larger display and the pixel density isn't as tight, you'll see this effect a lot easier. This display gradients could also be something called the Mura effect or clouding, which refers to an irregularity between pixels often caused by the screen not being properly illuminated. For example, if a pixel receives too little voltage, it may vary in appearance from another next to it. This effect is especially present in LCD screens, as well as self-illuminated pixels of OLED panels. There are a few main reasons why Mura occurs with it largely revolving around manufacturing, with displays made of multiple layers, which this tandem OLED display on the M4 does have. It has two layers of OLED screens on top of each other. Sometimes they can be laid in ways that are less than perfect. In many instances, Mura effects are not really considered as a defect of the display panel. It's unlikely that Apple will have an immediate fix for the problem in the short term, which is super fun. So is this a deal breaker? Is this graininess going to make me return my M4 iPad Pro 11 inch that I am loving so much so far? Honestly, no. I think this display is still absolutely gorgeous. And honestly, I didn't even notice this issue until one of y'all commented on my main review video and you have to really look for it. I mean, you have to really get up there almost microscopically to actually see this graininess effect. Do I notice the graininess on the display? Honestly, not really overall. You really only see this effect when you're in a dimly lit room and your screen brightness is down to like 25%. But most of the time, I'm not really using the iPad in those kinds of circumstances. I don't really notice it that much. So for me, it's not really worth returning this device because the rest of the display is absolutely brilliant. It gets super bright. It has really rich, deep blacks, like inky blacks in the dark areas and nice highlights. And one advantage of tandem OLED versus the mini LED in the previous like 12.9 inch iPad Pros is when you're looking at like white text on a deep black background, there's less blooming. In fact, almost no visible blooming like we had on the M1, M2. So yeah, I don't think this is a huge issue. I don't think this deserves like grain gate. But let me know down in the comments what you think. Like is the graininess on the M4 iPad Pro a huge issue? Like, is it making you actually want to return your iPad? Or do you think it's kind of a non-issue and you can kind of deal with it as is? And if you watched all the way to the end of this video, leave an octopus emoji in the comments down below. Why did I say it like octopus emoji? I don't even know. Thank you so much for watching. If you really want to support me even more, buy my hat. It says log off. It's on my shop. I'll link that down below. I'm going to get back to using this grainy ass iPad Pro and I will see you in the next video.